I don't know who they were, and I didn't recognize anyone. There were a couple videos of the guys and girls dancing and drinking, and then the worst happened. A video started of my fiance making out with a guy on the sofa. She stops, rolls over, and starts making out with a second guy. back to They Did What, your source for the internet's craziest, most entertaining stories where I go over them, analyze them, and most certainly make fun of them. Today, I'm going to go over a story titled, I, a 33-year-old male, saw videos of my fiance cheating during her bachelorette party. And guys, this is all about a guy, like he said, he's 33, his girl, his fiance, she's 29, they're all set up to be married pretty soon. And she was off at her bachelorette party with a whole bunch of her friends. I think like 10 friends. Friends, I might add, that he doesn't know all of them. And unfortunately, like so many of these stories goes, she goes to the party, gets around all these girls, gets trashed, and let's just say she doesn't exactly behave honorably. And you're going to see this story, guys, how he catches her. It's unbelievable how he catches her, the timing involved. You want to talk about, you know, fate being on this guy's side. The universe being on this guy's side and he catches her has proof and all that and the way he not only handles it but how he makes her aware that he has concrete proof of her cheating and then of course how she reacts how she responds how all her friends respond it's hilarious so any of you guys out there have been cheated on and gotten the whole bs story from your girl about the whole thing you'll really appreciate this so it's really entertaining how he finds this out handles it, and all the BS with her. And, of course, as entertaining as it is, you know, you feel bad for the guy because obviously he's hurt and everything, but it goes to show, you know, in my opinion, if you have a gal that's truly in love with you, she doesn't need to go do these crazy bachelorette parties that go to these uh, clubs with uh, strippers and all that and, and getting trashed and, and, and the, the crazy girl weekends and all that. She doesn't need that. So it's just something to keep in mind. So it starts off, says here, I can't believe I'm involved in a story like this. I haven't actually talked to anyone about what happened, even though a lot of people are trying. I think I just need to vet a little bit before I talk to anyone. My girlfriend and I were together for four years, and we were engaged to be married. Last weekend, she had her bachelorette party. I didn't have a problem with it, especially after what she told me was the plan. She and some of her friends are going to rent an Airbnb or something, a big place with like four bedrooms, and they were just going to get trashed and party and hang out. Yeah, well, clearly... He didn't get all the details of the party. You really think a bunch of young gals in their 20s are just going to stay in one place and get trashed and nothing more in, in today's world? Please. The day of the party, she was uh, at my place, a two-bedroom apartment, one room I use as a home office. I am a self-employed investor. She makes all the arrangements and goes to meet her friends. We texted a little bit, but as the party warmed up, we stopped and I figured they were just having fun. So you can see this guy, he's giving her a chance. He's trying to be a good guy. Okay, go have fun with your friends because I'm a kind, understanding fiancé. Go blow up some steam, assuming there'll be no problems. Well, you'll see the things he gets. After midnight, I start getting ready for bed and notice that the computer in my office isn't turned off. Rather, the black screen was just a screensaver. It turns out the fiancé had not logged out and her messenger was still open on my computer. There was a group chat going on where her and her friends, the girls, had been planning everything. And a lot of videos were uploaded to the chat. I was a little curious. I started to watch some of the videos. Huh. What could possibly be in those videos on that group chat? And you want to talk about incredible timing. And also how much she's a moron from her side for leaving this up there. Uh, most of them were pretty innocent, just a group of 15 girls, okay, 15 girls, not 10, getting drunk and stoned and dancing or whatever. But then there was a video of a woman going to the front door and about 10 guys enter the apartment. I don't know who they were and I didn't recognize anyone. There were a couple videos of the guys and gals dancing and drinking and then the worst happened. A video started at my fiancé making out with a guy on the sofa. She stops, rolls over, and starts making out with a second guy. So, one dude's tongue down her throat wasn't enough, so she needs to go turn over and go to the other guy. And by the way, ten dudes just randomly showing up the, at the, the uh, thing for this party. 
this was well planned. Okay, it's not like maybe okay they maybe they went to the bar and ran a bunch of ten guys. A group of good looking girls could rope ten dudes in from college or something in. Okay, fine, but the odds are this was planned. Then there was a video of her and the two guys going into a bedroom. There was also a video of them coming out that, according to the timestamp, was five minutes later. But that doesn't mean anything. For all I know, the videos were an hour apart and they were just all uploaded at the same time. So first she's making out with two different dudes, and now she's going to the bedroom with those dudes. I don't think she's in there showing them, uh, well, something other than her body. And one dude wasn't enough for the bedroom? Sob Gamora 2.0. Seeing all this was like a sledgehammer to the guy. I walked into the bathroom because I thought I'd be sick. I wasn't, but I feel like I paced back and forth in the apartment for about 30 minutes. Then I poured myself a rock, uh, a rock glass full of whiskey and chugged it down. I saved the videos and then made one of my own. Just a short little selfie video of me saying, Hi, this is such and such, your ex fiance Just want to say I saw the videos from the party and the wedding is off. I hope it was worth it. Awesome. I mean, we can all feel bad for this guy, of course, but uh, the way he handles it. And notice he said here, I saved the videos. Thank the Lord. He says, I'm glad I saved the videos because in less than 10 minutes, they were all deleted. And my phone started blowing up. But I didn't answer any calls or texts. At first, it was just my girlfriend texting saying she can explain. And that it is, wait for it, not what it looks like. Then her friends joined in, but I ignored everyone and didn't respond. She can explain it's not what it looks like. How can you explain her making out with one dude, and then she's done with his tongue down her throat, turned over to the next dude, and then going into the bedroom with those two dudes, I'm assuming it was the same two dudes, but you never know, it could have been two, two other different dudes, for Lord knows how long. And again, I don't think uh, it's something innocent, I didn't think they'd go to the bedroom to read the Bible. They were doing something else in there. And she can explain, and her friends can explain. Sure. Then suddenly I get a request for a video chat, and I'll admit my curiosity got the better of me. I answered the call, but didn't say anything. It was my fiance sitting in front of the camera, and she looked like she'd been crying, and the other friends just surrounded her. So they're going to gang up on you with the gaslighting BS. I really only knew maybe four of the, of the friends, but I recognized a lot of the others. First, she started apologizing, but kept saying it wasn't what it looked like it was. It was just a party, and the guys coming over was not planned or anything like that. What a load of crap. I would say it's 95% chance those dudes was planned out by her girlfriends or whomever, or even her, to come on over and, you know, do what they're going to do. Bullshit. And it's not what it looks like. What, do you, what is it supposed to be? says here, um, she said it might have looked bad, but nothing happened. Talk about gaslighting. What do you mean nothing happened? He saw her make it out with two dudes. When I didn't say anything, she just kept going on and on with more of the same, and her friends backed her up. Yeah, like you're going to believe her friends. The more I didn't speak, the more hysterical she got. Well, that's pretty funny. See what happens when you don't give them a reaction. Eventually, she admitted to kissing the two guys, but dumped the blame on her friends, who all took responsibility for that, which surprised me a little. It's not my fault. It's the friend's fault. Okay, yeah, okay, I kissed the two dudes. I'd be like, former ex, for, I mean, ex-girlfriend, former fiance, I saw you make it out with the two dudes, but you denied it five minutes ago. It's like, I'm going to believe anything else you're going to say. She said the kisses didn't mean anything, and that's all that happened. Okay, let's just say the kisses on those dudes didn't mean anything. Well, they meant something to him. Because if he was making out, if he was on a bachelor party and making out with two chicks, you, you're going to tell me she wouldn't have a problem with that? Or going into a bedroom with a bunch of chicks that he, she would have a problem? Please. Then she seemed to remember the video of her going into the bedroom and she started screaming that it was just a joke and nothing happened. Uh huh. All the other women confirmed it was a joke, and my fiancé walked into the room and then turned around and walked out again. Sure. First she cheats, now she is insulting his intelligence with this whole thing, and getting her friends to gang up like he's going to believe her friends. What I tell you guys all the time on this channel and my other channel, you pay attention to who your girl hangs out with, because they are going to impact her. And by the way, the girl code is going to be that they're all going to stick together no matter what she does. 
unless one of her girlfriends likes the guy. Then, then they'll turn on her. This kept going on and on, and they just kept repeating themselves. Eventually, everyone got quiet, and all I said was, is there anything else to add? She said no, and I just, and I just ended the video call. That's hilarious. He didn't say a word and let her go on and on. And finally, he said, anything else to add? Nope. Click. That must have made her go crazy. I went on to social media and changed my relationship status to single and posted that the wedding was off, and if anyone had bought a present, they should feel free to return it. That must have made her crazy. My fiancé, or my former fiancé, saw the post and is freaking out even more and just keeps insisting that all she did was kiss and nothing else. It doesn't matter. That's cheating. That's enough. That told him everything he needs to know about her. And Lord knows what else she's been doing behind his back over the years. And if let's just say for argument's sake, he let it go. Which, of course, he didn't and shouldn't. That's just going to communicate to her weakness. And they'll teach her, well, in the future, if I get bored and need to step out, I know darn well that he'll eventually cave and uh, I'll get my way. And, of course, I'll be married to him and then he'll get hammered in the divorce process. No way could he ever take her back of that. Never. Pay attention, guys. It says here, I sent her a text saying if I suspect that her or any of her friends lie about what happened or try to make me to be the bad guy, then I will post all the videos online. Right now, no one else knows what's happening. Awesome. It's so amazing the time that he saw that video and even though he was freaking out, had the good sense to... Uh, Record and get evidence and proof of those uh, indiscretions. That was a couple days ago and everything for the wedding is canceled and my fiance just keeps pursuing me. Any advice on what I should do from here? Yeah, don't get back with her. This this uh, story is not that old. I'm pretty, sure it's, I'm pretty sure it's only a few days old. Do not get back with her. Okay, she cheated. She's a liar. You can't trust her. You can't trust your friends. If this guy gets back with her, like I said, she'll do it again. She will lose respect for the guy. Right now, she doesn't feel like that, but trust me, she will. Okay? Cut her off. Cut her out of his life, et cetera, et cetera. Get that freaking ring back if he can, because he, he deserves that, but she probably won't give it back. If they're living together, pack up all her shit. If she's not on the lease, if they're living together, pack up all her shit and uh, drop it off at her parents' house or something like that, or I don't know what, put it out in the freaking front porch. Goodbye. And move on. And it will be hard. He's with her for four years. That's a big chunk of his life. But he will be able to move on. But he'd be out of his mind to take her back. Now with an update. It says here, the update is pretty simple. Everything has been called off and canceled. The wedding is officially not happening. I got the ring back. Yes. And all her stuff has moved out. She is staying with her parents for now. We did talk a little bit. It was mostly just her begging and apologizing and crying. She keeps insisting that all she did was kiss the guys. It doesn't matter, lady. And she has never done anything like this before, and she promises it will never happen again. Too late. Part of me really wanted to believe her, but the problem is that this incident puts our entire relationship in doubt. I think she may be telling the truth, but again, the point is there is no way to know. No, he has no way to know. And you can't blame the guy for kind of wishing that... Uh, you know, that there was a, a way out of this or something like that because he's obviously hurt. And obviously, he obviously was with her long enough and loved her enough to marry her, but he didn't know who she really was. If it is true that her friends pressure her to do it, then how can I believe they never did it before? We kept going around in circles because ultimately there is no way I can be sure. She said she would do anything including cutting off her friends and only ever drank around me. She really blasted her friends online, saying if, it, if the party had stuck to the original plan, she would still be getting married, and so maybe she can already cut them off. All I can say is at the moment, I'm single, and I'm, and I'm just going to live my life. Probably take some time to myself after getting out of a four-year relationship. What's crazy is that after, after that, a couple of her friends are also texting me just to talk. I haven't responded yet because, well, it's hard to trust them too. Thanks again to everyone who expressed sympathy, and I hope none of you have to deal with anything like this in the future. Well, you know what, guys? This is why I do these videos, and this is why my subscriber base on both this channel and my other channel, Strong Successful Male, has just been consistently growing big time over the last two and a half years because there's so many guys out there that don't want to get burned or have been burned and are learning this and passing it on to their friends so they don't get burned because this happens, and it's more and more, and it's really sad. But good for this guy for, he got the ring back, which is really cool. So he can probably get some cash for that. Some. 
packed up all her shit, get out. She's living with her parents. But uh, again, back to the whole friend thing. You got to pay attention to your friends are. And also the fact that if she is so susceptible to pressure from her friends, this is going to happen again because they're not going to obviously not like him, you know? And uh, the fact that, oh, it'll never happen again. doesn't matter. End of story. She screwed up. But here's the deal. I would say this. We're done. But you know what? You're in your late 20s. You're a pretty girl. You can find some other guy. And the next time you do, the next time you find a great guy, don't F it up. Have a nice life. So now, going to have a few updates here. Or excuse me, a few comments. One guy says, uh, even if the friends did pressure the fiance into having guys there, and I feel that's a big if, at the end of the day, she's still an adult and responsible for her choices. I totally understand why the original poster can't trust you anymore. People who can't eat can't own their F-ups and blame everyone out around them indeed are the worst. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. She's blaming her friends. They did this. And if it went according to my plan, it wouldn't have happened. At the end of the day, her own actions. She made the choice to make out with those dudes, go into the room when she claims nothing happened. But the, again, proving the old joke about women and accountability. Back to that movie with Jack Nicholson. I believe it's called As Good As It Gets. You all know what I'm talking about there. No accountability. He would at least respect her a little bit if she owned up to it. Nope. Now the guy says, The lack of accountability, ding, 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 on her end is mind-blowing. She knew she did something wrong, yet kept trying to shift the blame on anybody else but herself. In the end, she could have just said no and walked away. She's no longer a teenager doing dares. Everything she does is a reflection on herself as an adult. Correct. Imagine her being a wife. Imagine her being a mother, raising children, raising a daughter to behave the same way. You guys ever seen on uh, social media, Instagram, or TikTok, these women that are mothers that are like in their late 30s and 40s, and they're acting like teenagers on those social media apps trying to get attention, flaunting their bodies, flaunting their older bodies and all that? What kind of example is that to your kids, right? Attention and validation. They always want it. And the last comment is, there may not be many more, any more proof of her sleeping with the guys other than that one video of her entering and leaving the bedroom. But the fact that she originally denied kissing them despite the video evidence would be enough reason for me not to believe her. Like if she's going to try and dispute hard evidence as fact, then there's no reason to believe her versions of the events. Exactly. So, once again, one of these stories about the bachelorette parties, everything going to hell in a handbasket. And this guy was trying to be a good guy. Okay, go have a good time with your friends because I trust you. And then... Look what happened. But imagine, guys, if he didn't happen to walk in that room and see that thing going on with the the the, uh, the video messenger and seen the videos there, he wouldn't have known. He would have went ahead and married her. She would have been back the next day and given a big kiss, and she'd have the the have Chad and Tyrone on her breath because I'm sure she wouldn't brush her teeth or use mouthwash after doing nothing in the bedroom with them, of course. And this guy wouldn't have known. Or what if she didn't leave the messenger open on the computer? So this guy, I mean, he dodged a major bull. I'm sorry what happened to him, but thank the Lord he found this out. So, all right, guys, that is it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. And, guys, you come across a really good story like like to share, whether it's on Reddit or anywhere else, by all means, email it to me, strongsuccessfulmail at gmail.com. And uh, be sure to include the link. And when I get a chance, I'll definitely get to it if it's a good one. And be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.